Bro, what'd you do with this amazing deck? So, this Toronto Regionals, uh, I got top eight, sixth place after Swiss. Yeah. And I piloted Pure Endymion. Pure Endymion. No, no magicians? None. Oh. Magicians are bricks, really. You know what? I'm gonna have to agree with you on that <laughs> yeah. one. So, for the Pendulum fans up there, for the Rohan Thomas fans up there, let's check out this amazing, spicy. You play some text in there, bro. Uh, some there's a spicy text, text especially considering a lot of strikers. There's many, bro. So, so, without further ado, let's check out your deck profile. All right, first off, free servant. I don't need to say anything. Okay, <laughs> let's just put that away. It's <laughs> so good. Two abductor, again, same thing. Honestly. Gets counters, does stuff. Honestly, bro, do you have any words for any pendulum player on the planet that doesn't play these cards? You're an insult to the deck. You're an you insult to the deck. You're an insult to the deck. You don't I love it. it. You don't deserve it. You don't deserve the deck. I agree. And then uh mythical beast package. Mm -hmm. This is where I guess like I really like the pure version the best. <laughs> because these cards this guy has a lot of utility. Yeah. Like um He's able to banish monsters, this is negates, and Gerudo pops spells. So you're able to take care of monsters and spells just out of one card. Which exactly. Is crazy. Yeah. And the best part is, to get your uh, Endymion effects off, you need a good, like, these guys are the best for storing counters, because it's two yeah. for every spell, so you don't yeah. have to... Very have good for your pure Endymion, very good. And this is why you don't play a third jackal, because yes. you're going to start breaking. Yeah, yeah. More Endymion. <laughs> On reflection, this was because I played Magister. And Magister with reflection is also kind of crazy. And uh, against Pure Thunder, hard drawing this is so good in my version, particularly because yeah. then you just. They're afraid of Nibiru and stuff, so they just do like one Colossus pass. <laughs> I'm not even like, So you just do this, bounce it, and then you proceed to OTK. Yeah. And Magister is like so insane, especially in grind oh, yeah. game. Yeah. Like being able to summon from deck, and then after being summoned from deck, summon from extra deck. Yeah, yeah. Poggers, yeah. man. Yeah, also, yeah. <laughs> and even in like, uh, what people don't understand as well, is uh, this itself is a negate because yeah. it turns into anything you want. It's a Pendulum card that, that like does something. Yeah. And this is why I really love Pure and Damien. Oh, yeah. This guy is Archfiend on steroids, man. Like, yeah, yeah. He, like, after they've done, like, because the only thing, you don't really care about Widow Wankers and stuff like that. That's the only form of Sky Striker interruption. So using the Mythical Beast to get rid of the Mystery Cards, which are the Cyclones, which is the only one you care about. Yeah. Makes this live. So after they hit your Servant, this becomes live, and then you just wipe the entire board, like, just clean off. Yeah, bro. So good. And then, can't be targeted or destroyed. So you could literally sit on this for like an entire duel, wait for them to like try and make Nagirsu and just negate whatever like their drones or whatever to yeah. try to make it. Yeah. So easy. Yeah. Or if you're even more big brain, don't make Electromite so they can't steal with Hita. And then they, <laughs> they can't make Nagirsu. <laughs> so funny. And then you gotta play draw cards. I think in Pure Demon, that's the biggest thing. I, every, in every pendulum. Every pendulum must. Oh, must. my boy! Must. My must. boy! This is the only reason I topped the region, honestly. <laughs> Like, drawing cards in this deck, like, it means you don't have to rely on the Electromite so much. You can just pen someone from the hand, you're in the gates. So you're in Dimians, you're Jackals. Magister is in the gate. Yeah. So, and it gives you spell counters, it filters out the deck. It's crazy. Bro, I want to say one thing about yeah. this. So people don't understand, okay? Spell, draw cards, not just Blue Boy, but all the draw cards you play in the deck, they, they replace themselves. So exactly. you get free counters for nothing and replace themselves. They're literally the best cards in the deck because what people don't understand is they get the they go into the best cards of the deck and give you exactly. free counters. It just gives free counters. It replaces itself. It gives free counters. You know, for nothing. You need to play this if you're playing any endemians. Like exactly. Any servant deck needs to play them, yeah. honestly. I'll start. Oh yes. It's broken actually. <laughs> honestly, I'm not even joking. Is, I'm, I desires you must. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah. plus one. Yeah. It's great ash bait. Yeah. This I don't need to explain. It. I, I don't know. <laughs> Bro, any anything you want to say for the ones that play two? Because in case you <laughs> Oh my goodness. Some of the, a lot of people like, just play two. Going, I, like, I don't know why. Like, any of my Orcus matchups? Yeah. They literally crescendo this and I just activate another one. Like, Honestly. That's why it's so good. And you need to see this card in tandem with. Or Ash. Cards. Okay. Drop Servant. Or literally, something. Like, up, exactly. Ash. Upstart, Servant, okay, still resolve you, Servant. <laughs> yeah, you activate this, then you, you make that, please don't ask me face, please don't ask me yeah, yeah, And honestly. then you just have Servant Spellbook, like, <laughs> yeah, you, yeah. you're gonna win. Honestly. So it's, it's great. There's so many good bait cards in the Pure Endymion. So many. And then we have, let's get to the field spells. Mag uh, Magical Citadel. This is really actually kind of important in the one terraforming. Uh, because I found that... You, when you're activating your desires and your masteries, you want to have somewhere where they're stored. So they're kind of like, they replace themselves because when you use spell counters, like Servant summons itself, replaces itself, and then replaces the spell counter with the monster itself. So it's really important. And then you got to play this card. 
so good, man. Like, oh my goodness, like, against Orcus, turns off the entire Sky Striker engine and their instant fusions, Rota, Foolish Barrel, all broken spell cards. Like, it's actually crazy how many spell cards that every deck is playing. Yeah. And Strikers, this is, this is an auto win. Yeah. You can't yeah. impermanence it, you can't Cyclone it, you Bro, can't Strikers is this whole meta, eh? It's literally, I played like so many Strikers, like at least five. And you just obliterate them all. I never lost to a single Striker. You, I never five lost. 5-0, baby, 5-0. I never lost. And this card is one of the reasons, like, for example, uh, against my blue boy, uh, my striker matchup, I literally, normal blue boy, that was my only play, and got Valor, I activate this and pass and I won that match. <laughs> like, it's crazy how good this card Whoa, is. That card's nice. Because card's they're only nice. playing spells. Yeah, exactly. And it's like, what are you going to do, imperm my blue boy? Like, okay, <laughs> uh, now, now more one ups. Reasoning. Reasoning was really good because there's so many levels like yeah there not is once yeah. it, like maybe like once out of all like five different Bro, levels I've a played. low key turbo card a new turbo card eh? it's actually kind of good so free and Damien's are nice bro even if the Cerberus comes out literally any monster yeah. you just another a free turbo card for Electrum. Regardless exactly. of the monster, it's, it's actually not bro. Good job, man. It's basically like, an, like another actor, you could say. Yeah, yeah. But like, you could get this with yeah. Jackal or Service. Yeah, yeah, that would be huge. It's another yeah. wild card. And Yo, then, shout out to this yeah. idiot. Yeah. Who I destroyed in a. <laughs> okay, actually, let's not talk about that. It was good. <laughs> <laughs> MST, I was looking for a 41st card. Yeah. And I didn't want to lose like stupid, like, row, back row decks. Like, yeah. Like, main Imperial Order and always see it turn one. Yeah. So. It's I didn't want to lose because I didn't have the out. So yeah. Just in yeah. case. And then the spice, you know, unpopular opinion, you must play Cold Bite and Pendulum. This. Okay, hold, hold, hold this on, hold on, hold okay. on, hold on. Let, <laughs> me, let me rephrase what you actually meant to say. Yeah. You must play Cold by the Grave if you don't know how to play around Hand Trap. <laughs> but here's the yeah. thing, man. Here's the thing. I actually don't agree with this. Okay, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be okay. honest. Hey, yeah, you talked. Yeah. You talked. This deck's but, different than most decks. Droll yeah. does kill you. Yeah. So Cold Bite is good against Droll. But what's Hand Trap doing but against you? Here's the problem, like, sometimes, like, your only play will be the Servant that you need, you, you need your Servant to resolve. And the problem is, I don't lose the Striker cards, I lose to the Hand Traps. Because they're able to simplify the game state really quickly by using cards like Ogre, Ash. You play, kind of play. Uh, I play Corner Graph from Time Gazer, which I end up normal somebody most of the time to save the Servant. So Ogre's no issue to but, me. Yeah. But Ash, uh, okay, I could say, like, it's such hey, an hey, offense this defense. Call by the grip is, yeah. is fine. I think Pure and Demon is a little different. Pure and Demon is Pure different. Pure Demon, it makes sense. I wouldn't so say it, for like... It's better in Pure yeah. and Demon than in, in Pencil Magicians. Uh, Pencil Magician and Demon. For the ones that are watching, they're not like... Yeah. A lot of people are going to watch a video and think, oh, I should copy it. Which they should copy card for card. Yeah. Uh, but it depends on the matchup they're doing and what deck they're doing. But Call by is good in your version for sure. It's... Yeah. For me, it was worth it. Because against Striker, like, if you brick... You want to break against Striker. <laughs> you just want to end up on just get this guy with the counter, you win the game. I, I'm not even joking. And Call by ensures that, that that's your win condition right there fair, against fair, fair. Striker. So if you do break, just hope a Striker and you'll win. <laughs> and then the, the goo, the spice. Whoa! Because Why, of, bro? Dude, Why this dude? card, man? I'm not, like, First up, bro. Okay. What's it do? I don't even know what the okay. hell this card does. So let's read it. Send the top two cards of your deck to the graveyard, then target one faceless spell uh, card in the field that can hold a spell counter. Place two spell counters on it. So that's the first effect. The second effect is one that is such a, like, it's basically waking the dragon. If this card is destroyed by an opponent's card effect, or in your possession, so if for whatever dumb reason you want to damage yeah. a minute, it'll trigger. You summon any card from your deck that can hold a spell counter and place two spell counters on it. So, what kind of decks pop back row? Literally every deck. Yeah. Draco, yeah. um, Orcus when they make the Nightmare Phoenix. Well, every deck. Every, every like deck. Every deck possible. So, Salamangri, a uh, Psycho. I like being a little cheeky try. against them and just set one pass. And they think, oh, it might be a cold bite. Oh, it might be something else because they've seen it before. And they just jamming wave it. And then I get a free Indian. Indian. And yeah, it's, not it's bad. like you're negging. And yeah. then against Orcus, like sometimes, like, oh man, like I really break called by a mythical beast theory. They snipe my beast theory. Yo, like, I'm so happy. Like, <laughs> it's so much good bait. You just summon yeah. Jackal and you win. Not bad, not bad. So not bad. it was really a good. I think pen, like, Pendles with back rows is scary for decks. Because they have to worry about monsters and now they have to worry yeah. about back row. Yeah, yeah. And I'm coming from like the past version of Pendles when Iris was legal. Like, yeah. Time Graph was so broken because it yeah. was not a pendulum card. It was yeah. like on top of that. So that's why I played it. The hard sick though, but yeah. Yeah, it's hey, a sick nice. card. Nice. Sick. Hey, good to know I came clutch for yeah. you. Let's check out your. That's it for the main deck, right? That's it for the main deck. Okay, sick. Let's check out the extra deck. Extra deck. Uh, this was the card 
probably what worked the best for me, Crowley. Nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I just love it when my blue boy gets hand trapped and then I get to like yeah. stack off secrets or knowledge off of yeah. it, which is really nice. Yeah. And you can also normal some of this if you haven't. Yeah. That's yeah. A cool thing. Yeah. Uh, Borrow Sword. Um, yeah. It's more of a flex in this deck. Yeah, <laughs> you don't yeah. need it. Yeah. But it's Borrow Sword, you know? Yeah. It gets over Ultimate Falcon. We wish. The, the extra deck doesn't really matter as much. It's uh, more just like yeah, like fodder. Yeah. Zephyr, uh, decode, daybreaker because it came the structure deck. Yeah, absolute vortex. Like, not that you would ever need to overlay, yeah. but you know, it's just in case sometimes. you never know. Yeah, Cerberus, Phoenix, land for Nicholas because they can't wood one grid. Don't play the Uh... Electrum. Oh, no. you still have an Electrum after I eat yours? <laughs> yeah. Thankfully, um, you know, I got another one. That's but, good, uh, that's good. <laughs> the Electrum is more of like the cherry on top of the cake, if you know what yeah. I'm saying, on the yeah. Sunday. Yeah. It, you don't need it. It's more the yeah. extender, if anything. Because yeah. your demon cards are so powerful Honestly. on their own. Yeah, yeah. They don't need it. Uh, Bore load that is really good against Pure Thunder. Yeah. Uh, you take their, their one Thunder Dragon and win. <laughs> yeah, literally take their Colossus and their own win condition becomes their own loss. Yeah. Uh, this, just in case there was Cyber Dragon, yeah. <laughs> you never know, man. Like, yeah, and you and just never so use the extra deck. Yeah. I never knew the extra deck, and there was no Cyber Dragons yes. that I faced. Proxy Dragon, because I like it when Link Zones open up to the right. Yeah. Pen yeah. from the extra deck. So Sick. that's it for the extra. Sick. Nothing special. Like, I really like decks that where the main deck is really powerful. Yeah. That's yeah. what the kind of decks that I like yeah. in the past. Yeah. So, let's see your side deck. Side deck, so this was the, the promos came out. Yeah. So, going into this, I knew that against Control I have such a good matchup. Yeah. That my side deck was mainly built to beat um, Combo. Yeah, yeah. And then Konami answered my prayers. <laughs> I'm like, please, I have so much Combo, I can't win going second. And they're like, Dark Ruin no more! It's like, I don't lose a Thunder Dragon now. Hey bro, I look forward to, in yeah. our match we're gonna do, me versus you, we're gonna post. <laughs> Dude, like you draw gonna, as many of these as you want, I'll be like, no problem. I'm just gonna draw a double Dark Ruler. That's no problem. It's, that is that, so you can, you can, oh, you use more than one, oh fuck. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully you draw one. Uh, yeah, it's not once per turn, so that's also kind of crazy. Um, Nibiru is crazy. Um, great against Orcus. Every combo um, there. <laughs> the, 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 depending, does, depending on the That doesn't have Jackal. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Luna Lights could take care of that. Yeah, know, they, they can make acid. Yeah. yeah. But um, against Salomon Great, which is my only loss, I really w I need to see this. But yeah. I never saw it. Nah. But I think you, going forward, like if you're scared of combo decks, like play Nibiru. Yeah. There's a reason why Old Raptor literally just got extinct. Um, two Seeker Village. This is if I if I knew they were playing going Strike Seeker. Yeah. Even going first, this yeah. card is insane. Because yeah, it obviously. forces them to pop it. Yeah. Before I normal summon a blue boy or something yeah. like that, or yeah. normal like make a spellcaster monster and then yeah. activate. It. Like, you should always make spellcaster and then activate it. Yeah. yeah. So then you're fine. So this was this card's insane. Uh -huh. So oh, no. literally because the new promos is why I'm playing it. Super, and super poly, dark blue no more. Yeah. yeah. Engage. Yeah. <laughs> like this card's you'd be surprised about how many spells like that each deck uses. Yeah. Like not just yeah. yeah. Uh, two MST. This is mainly for I only lose the floodgates. Like, that was my. Yes. Yeah. That's literally it. Yeah. So, and I didn't Makes want to sense. play twins because I feel like there's so many power cards in here that I don't want to discard. Yeah, that, like, and also have... pendulums. Is, uh, you want all their cards, and also they could have like Salamangri, uh, Roar, yeah. or, or Crescendo, something like that. Yeah, they so... can kind of trap it. You know, Solemn Judgment versus yeah. this is just like a one for one. Yeah. Who the hell Solemn Judgment think I missed? I know, right? Yeah. So it was good. It really did its job. Uh, three red reboot. Because yeah. I knew there was going to be a lot of them. Yeah. Um, yeah. I faced Draco, Guru, Salmon Grey, which is basically back row that deck. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. This card, you should play if you're playing Phantasmes. Yeah. Yeah. And then, these should actually be two Phantasmes. But going forward, I'm going to start I might start playing Denko. Yeah. But it kind of eats up the blue boy summon, so I'm kind of yeah. Yeah. in shambles with it. Yeah. But when I played Phantasme, man, it... <sighs> I drew so many cards, but I didn't see it. Yeah. So yeah. the reason for playing Phantasma is that you hope to see your side deck cards, right? Like, yeah. And it's a nice body. Yeah. But the problem with Phantasma, like I'd rather play side deck cards. 
then fit, have the chance of getting a side deck card. Makes sense, makes sense. So, going forward, I'm going to have to find something to replace well, that. Makes sense. If you want to play a Phantasmic, go ahead. It's still a good card. Makes sense, makes sense. But, um, yeah, that's it for the deck profile. Bro, and it was, like, you really liked the deck, right? It's amazing? This deck was so good. It's... I, as long as Strike Engage is still at 3, like, this deck is going to be... Definitely a top two. Content. 100%. Oh, bro, any shout outs you want to give before we wrap it up? Yeah, shout outs to uh, my boys at Skyfox Games Simon, yes. Myrtle, Eric, uh, Chris. Uh, hey, bro, Stone Myrtle's Boys. a junior <laughs> pen god, eh? <laughs> Myrtle is junior pen god, but. Uh, well, are you going to take that? Or are you, is your, bro, do you have a higher rank than that? What are you? Do, but what, what are you? I'm kind of like pen disciple, I guess. It's, okay. It's, it's above junior. Oh, and, yeah. Oh, yeah. But sure. unfortunately, Myrtle's been taken to the dark side by Orcus, so. Yeah. yeah. Tell no that Orcus, hey Myrtle, if you're watching this, Orcus is trash. He <laughs> yeah, is. He loses the one hand trap. Yes, that's right. Oh, so that's it for me. My shout outs. And bro, the most important shout out of all is that everyone should subscribe to Truth Gaming, right? Oh, yeah, 100%. Like, you're an idiot if you don't. Know, if you don't stand in Truth Gaming, your pendulum deck won't get better. Honestly! Like, it's any, honest. any, any of your decks won't get better. Honestly! Like, <laughs> you heard the man! Hit the subscribe button! And we'll see you in the next video. Peace!